this is our final product for the mushroom block where we used dry banana leaves. You can see the mycelium has started growing. This is after three days. Last night, we soaked our banana leaves and today we are going to dry them. So, the banana leaves that we soaked are here. They were soaked in wood ash. So this is how they look. And at this moment, we are going to dry them. So this is what we'll do. We are pouring them here so that water comes out. And since this one is a shed, we are going to take them to the sunshine and spread them. So I'm going to, to take them to the sunshine and spread them. Water is still dripping. We are going to dry them and then after that, put in the spawn. Let's go. So I'm going to spread here in an open environment where there will be the sun. You can see they still have some water, but So the main aim of using ash is to increase the pH such that the microorganisms cannot survive. And the reason we are putting them into the sun is one, to dry them and to also use some sun rays as a way of killing some microorganisms. So after it is dry, we are going to come and then we'll put some spot. So these are some of the buckets we use in mushroom growing. We've been using them for over two years. So now we are washing them in water with lime and drying them up. Yeah, those ones with the small, small holes are the ones we are going to use. Chi. A bam bam. It's time to spawn our substrate. Now, the grain spawn that I'm going to use is here. And this is considered to be the seed. So I have six bottles of the grain spawn. I have the buckets where I'm going to put the substrate ready. I have washed them with hot water and then, with, and then rinsed them with water that has lime in it. So... These are the buckets that I have. Yeah. What is going to be done now is to get out this pond from the bottles and then put it onto the plate so that it can be used to make mushroom blocks. I'm not alone. I'm working with my colleague. Hi. My name is Esli. Yeah, Esli tinted her hair. She really looks so nice, <laughs> so nice, and she's the person I always work with. Okay, so. So we are getting it, putting it here so that we are able to put it into the mushroom blocks. Now, it is the banana leaves. You can see they are still wet and soaked in ash. So they are wet. In case they dry up completely, you're supposed to boil water and then sprinkle water 
over them. You can see this one still has some water. It soaked, it soaked some water. So what we are going to do, so this is the, the grain spawn that is there, that one. And then we put in this, add in. Remember, you will only buy the grain spawn. You are not buying, you are not buying the dry banana leaves. Ooh, I'm only getting one block out of this. It was too small. Lava cob lad in a head of So, this is our tattoo. Good, good. So we are going to cover. There you go. This is made using ash, water, and dry banana leaves. And guess for how long I have used this bucket for over three years. So that is the beauty of using buckets in mushroom growing. Please. Join the Patreon to see more videos about low-cost mushroom growing done by Coabric Uganda. And for the Patreons, thank you so much for supporting me do all this. Without you and your support, I would never do this. Thank you so much. You're so wonderful. Much love. This is our final product for the mushroom block where we used dry banana leaves. You can see the mycelium has started growing. This is after three days. This is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. I'll not open it, but you can see the mycelium growing. Mm? Look at it growing from the bottom. Yeah, look at it growing. Eh? I love every bit of it. <laughs>